So in our today's lecture, we are going to start grammar lesson present tense. So I think you may have study about present tense in your previous classes. If you haven't, so you will be learning all the various kinds of or all the four kinds of present tense in today's sorry in upcoming lectures. So how many kinds of present tense are there? There are four kinds of present tense. So first one is simple present or we may call it present indefinite. The choice is yours. Whatever the name you want to give it, you can use it. Simple present or present indefinite. Our second present tense is present continuous. Third one is present perfect. And last but not the least is present perfect continuous. Simple present or present indefinite. Present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. We will be doing all these four kinds of present tense. Few today and few tomorrow. Okay. So today we are going to start our chapter with simple present tense or present indefinite. Let's read about this tense. Hindi identification. The sentences of simple present tense end with when you will make the Hindi of uh, such sentences, you will be able to see that all the sentences end with ta hai, te hai, ti hai. Okay. Like, main daily walk par jati hoon. Meri mama achha khana banati hai. Dadi ma mujhe raat ko kahani sunati hai. So you can see, whatever the sentences I have spoken, they are ending with Ta hai, te hai, ti hai. So this is the Hindi identification. What is the English identification? This uh, simple present tense is used to express a habitual action, custom or any routine task. If you are expressing about your habit or if you are talking about any custom or if you are talking about your routine activities or routine uh, culture, so you will be talking about Simple present tense. Second one, simple present tense is also used to express general truth. If you are talking about some scientific truth or the general truth, there we will be using simple present tense. Third one, to show a future action event which is already arranged. If there is an event which belongs to the future but it is already pre-advanced, uh, planned or arranged, in that case, we will be using simple present tense. In exclamatory sentences, that begin with here or there. So some sentences, some exclamatory sentences we have here or there. So there we can use simple present tense. Now we will be talking about the rule of simple present tense. He, she, it, singular. Think carefully. He, she, it singular. What we will be using for positive sentence, we will be using V1 plus S or ES. And for negative sentence, for negative or interrogative sentence, we will be using DAS plus V1 and here we will be using DO plus V1. If your subject is I, we, you, they, plural, then you will be using verb key first form. For your better understanding, I have mentioned the rule again. He, she, it singular, we will be using V1 plus S or ES. And for negative and interrogative, we will be using DAS plus V1. And if our subject is I, we, you, they, plural, then we will be using only verb key first form. And for negative and interrogative, we will use DO plus V1. So let's see the examples. Children. Children is singular or plural? Plural. Plural plus V1. So the children love. Plural plus V1. Next one is we. We is again group 1 or group 2. Let us call the members of group 1 and let them call the members of group 2. So group 1 or group 2, we belongs to group 2, 
ग्रुप टू आंसर इज प्लूरल आंसर इज वर्ब की फर्स्ट फॉर्म ईट सुहाना सुहाना इज द नेम ऑफ अ गर्ल इट्स द सिंगुलर सिंगुलर के साथ वट डू वी यूज वी वन प्लस एस यस सुहाना राइट्स सुहाना राइट्स वेरी ब्यूटिफुली वी ईट वेजिटेरियन फूड चिल्ड्रन लव टू प्ले क्रिकेट माई ग्रैंड फादर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई ग्रैंड फादर सिंगुलर और प्लूरल सिंगुलर सो वट विल बी द आंसर वी वन प्लस एस सो एस सो गो विल चेंज इन टू कॉस बर्ड्स बर्ड्स आंसर इज बर्ड इज सिंगुलर और प्लूरल प्लूरल वी विल बी यूजिंग वर्ब की फर्स्ट फॉर्म एंड द आंसर इज फ्लाई द सन द सन इज सिंगुलर आंसर इज वी वन प्लस एस ओ एस महिमा एंड माहिर हाउ मेनी पर्सन आर देअ टू पर्सन सो टू पर्सन विल बिकम प्लूरल एंड प्लूरल के साथ वट डू वी यूज वर्ब की फर्स्ट फॉर्म सो द आंसर इज स्टडी द रेन वॉटर डैश फिल द रिवर्स एंड द पोन्स द रेन वॉटर रेन वॉटर इज अनकाउंटेबल काउंट नहीं कर सकते और अनकाउंटेबल इज ऑल्सो सिंगुलर द वॉशर विमेन विमेन इट्स द प्लूरल वी विल बी यूजिंग वर्ब की फर्स्ट फॉर्म द आंसर कम्स वॉश द टीचर्स टीचर्स इज सिंगुलर और प्लूरल इट्स द प्लूरल सो द आंसर इज द टीचर्स टीच हेयर डैश द चीफ गेस्ट आई टोल्ड यू हेयर एंड देयर If we have any exclamatory sentence using here and there, so there we use v one plus s o e s. Now we will be making the negative sentence. I told you group one members are he, she, it singular, and if our subject is either he, she, it or singular, we will be using does plus v one. And if the members are from group two. i we you they plural then we will be using do plus v1 so let's uh, change the sentences she cleans the room regularly she is from group 1 so group 1 ka answer is does she does not now we will not write cleans we will write clean she does not clean the room regularly okay children keep the surrounding clean now children is plural plural means group 2 and group 2 mein negative hum kisse banate hain do se children do not keep the surroundings clean Mehika reaches school on time. Mehika is singular. Singular is group one. Group one answer. Please give me faster than me. Mehika does not reach or reaches. We will be using does plus v one. Mehika does not reach school on time. Now we will be making interrogative sentences. The students stand in que. Student is plural. Plural है तो what we will be using do. So what do we write? Do the students stand in a queue? Do the students stand in a queue? Ends with a question mark. द वॉशर मैन वॉश क्लोथ वॉशर मैन भी क्या है बेबी प्लूरल सो वट वी विल बी यूजिंग डू सो वट वी विल राइट डू द वॉशर मैन वॉश क्लोथ एंड स्विथ क्वेश्चन मार्क 
these boy playing the garden boys are again plural but we will be using do so do these boys play in the garden ends with a question mark i'm making one more example writing one more example there Suhani helps the poor. Now Suhani is singular, so we will be using does. So what would be the answer? Does Suhani help the poor? Okay. So by this we have come to an end. of simple present tense i hope you would have understood okay good morning students today we are going to start our next topic that is present continuous so the similar way we did the identification of simple present now we will be doing the identification of present continuous so in the identification of present continuous tenses that the sentences end with raha hai rahe hain rahi hai raha hai rahe hain rahi hai okay and english identification is task is going on at the movement task is going on at the movement keyword you can find now and the rule of this tenses is m r plus v1 plus i n g I am watching a horror movie. If you will make the Hindi of this sentence, what will you say? Make horror movie. Dekh rahi hu. She is baking a chocolate cake. The pian is ringing the bell. They are telling a lie. So these all are. You can see what I have used is M R plus V one plus I N G. I am watching a horror movie. She is baking a chocolate cake. The piano is ringing the bell, and they are telling a lie. And now we will see how to make a negative or interrogative statement. We are buying a new car. So how we will change it into negative? We just add not with helping verb. We are not buying a new car. And if I have to make the interrogative. what will you do you will pick this helping verb and bring it in the front are we buying a new car and it ends with a question mark so starts with a helping verb and ends with a question mark is it clear let's take one more example rohan is playing a football match rohan is not playing a football match we have to just add not rohan is not playing a football match or is rohan playing a football match okay so this is the end of your present continuous tense now we will be doing it from